What's up guys, Layton here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Red Paladin. This video is going to be my 1v1 guide against BM Hunters. Um, I've got a few requests for dual guides, so I figured why not start with uh, BM Hunter. Totally random, I know. Um, this is a, a short series of duels I did against the best hunter I could find in Elwyn Forest, which is uh, Ryler, Ryler Hunter. Uh, he's a gladiator hunter, and he was playing BM. This is the most efficient talent specialization that I could come up with here to, uh, to fight hunters. Now, I did lose my first duel, and I was Unbreakable Spirit along with um, Aura of Reckoning. And I found out that if I am not Jurisdiction, you get kited. You get permanently kited, and it was honestly an accident that I wasn't eye for an eye. Um, not running Aura of Reckoning is a damage loss and also a healing loss because your wings contributes to healing. However, if a BM Hunter gets out of your Hand of Hindrance range, you're not going to be able to catch them. Uh, they will slow your speed, they will trap your your pony, and then you're going to have to bubble for mo mobility or they'll stun your freedom. Like, no. Mm -mm. Nope. You need some sort of range slow. So Law and Order plus Jurisdiction gives you that range slow on a shorter cooldown. Um, and yeah, that's about it for uh, Rhett in terms of the talent setup that I found the most efficient to fight BM Hunters. And now I will go over what it looks like on the BM Hunter side and what cooldowns that you have to watch out for as a Rhett Paladin while fighting a BM Hunter. All right, now I'm going to go over what it looks like from a BM Hunter's perspective and what you need to trade into BM Hunter cooldowns as a Red Paladin. Now, the main cooldowns that you have to watch out for when fighting a BM Hunter are Bestial Wrath and Aspect of the Wild. Now, Bestial Wrath is 1.5 minute CD. However, it has cooldown reduction based off of your barb shot. Uh, each barb shot, which is part of the core BM Hunter rotation, reduces its cooldown by 12 seconds. So instead of 1.5 minutes, it's going to be much, much shorter. It's going to be more like 45 seconds, depending on how many procs of Wild Call that the BM Hunter gets. And the Wild Call resets the uh, the cooldown on, or resets the charge on Barb Shot. So when fighting a BM Hunter, what you want to do, your first trade into their cooldowns is going to be eye for an eye, and you're immediately going to start healing. Um, unless you are on top of the BM Hunter and can get a stun, you're going to want to pressure them through that means, or you're just going to want to go pure defensive, hit the pet, heal off the pet. You can even stop moving and just press Word of Glory and Eye for an Eye. Now, where you're going to want to change your uh, defensive play style is when they get their kill shot procs. Now, kill shot procs come from the Venthyr ability Flayed Shot. And what this does is every few ticks, you get a chance to proc an instant above 20% HP kill shot. Now, they can get back-to-back -back procs on different ticks, so this is the damage that you're going to want to mitigate with Shield of Vengeance. Now, if for some reason you get back-to-back -back kill shot, then you can use your Emblem plus Shield of Vengeance, and then you're going to recover. Else, you should be okay to heal through the BM Hunter damage with just Eye for an Eye and spam Word of Glories while stunning them or stunning their pet or shutting them down. Um, in terms of defensives, the defensives that you're going to want to watch out for is basically just Roar of Sacrifice and Aspect of the Turtle, both of which are pretty poor defensive cooldowns this expansion. Aspect of the Turtle, the Hunter cannot damage through, only the pets can. And then with Roar of Sacrifice, you can choose to not burst. If, if the Hunter presses Roar of Sacrifice before you have your Avenging Wrath up, save your Avenging Wrath until after the Roar of Sacrifice ends. Otherwise, he's probably going to Roar of Sacrifice himself during your wings, in which case you're going to have to hit through anyway in a 1v1 duel, so that's fine. Uh, in terms of kiting, BM Hunters are really, really excellent kiters at the moment. Um, they can Intimidation stun you, they can trap you, they can tar trap and run through, they can feign off your slow, they can disengage your slow, they can freedom your slow, and then they can Aspect of the Turtle with freedom to move very, very fast, which is why I'm running Jurisdiction and Law and & Order. Uh, because they can just bane, freedom, or disengage off your hand of hindrance, and it's just not enough. I'm trying to think if there's anything left to talk about for uh, BM Hunters. So the PvP talents, 
Some hunters will run instead of Kindred Beast. They may run uh, Chimera Sting to have a silence and healing reduction against you. You can cleanse Poison this off as a Red Paladin. However, if you cleanse Scorpid or, or Spider, it will just move to the next silence in the chain. So you cleanse the 90% move speed. It instantly silences you. Um, so basically, cleanse it if you can, and it will cycle through faster. If not, don't worry about it. It's not the biggest deal. And then some hunters may run Explosive Trap, which is just a knockback if you run over it. So make sure you try to take advantage of uh, any Z-axis hills and stay on the high ground. I know, the high ground meme. But yes, it actually works with knockbacks. Um, wow line of sight in, in, in Z-axis is very, very weird. Uh, and typically it is difficult to get good knocks on flat surfaces. Um, but all right, that's about it for the BM Hunter overview. Now, uh, let's get right into the duels. All right, so duel number one, we are waiting for him to come out of stealth and camo. I drop a consecration just to, uh, you know, mount up and see see where we can find him. Um, but pretty much the hunter is going to always get the opener. So if they really want max distance, they can get it. He pops his aspect of the wild, kites away, beastial wrath, gets his uh, stacks up, late shot, and stun me as I steed towards him. I realize I cannot catch this guy, so I'm just going to turn and hit the pets and heal while motioning towards him. Um, I'm healing, 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 and I still don't have any mobility to catch him. This is the duel that I did not have the jurisdiction tech for. But he makes a small mistake and gets in range for me to hodge, so I land it, and he has to trinket, freezing trap, and then turtles away while I sit there and heal with my bubble wings. Now, I am completely out of cooldowns, essentially, and I cannot catch this guy. He beats Shoraz once again, and as I approach, he presses Roar of Sacrifice to mitigate the damage that I can land onto him. I do not have Hammer of Justice, unfortunately, so I cannot catch him. And Hander Hindrance is still on cooldown, and down I go. So this duel was a little frustrating. However, um, the Jurisdiction tech is coming. So I drop Aura of Reckoning in this duel, and I pick up Eye for an Eye. And I'm hoping that this will let me touch the Hunter a little more frequently. So I'm running at him, I judge him, and I trinket immediately out of the Intim to get some uptime. I get a Hammer of Justice on his Freedom, so he has to trinket this. He pops his offensive cooldowns, but they cannot trade into me while I'm currently on top of him, crushing him. So he Aspects of the Turtle and Roots me, and I do, unfortunately do not have Freedom. So right now, I'm going to build Holy Power and heal off the pets while simultaneously trying to kill the pet if possible. It's getting low, and I uh, if I landed a proc right there, I probably would have got it one global earlier, but down it goes. So he's going to Door Shadows away to revive the pet. I am getting in range, and due to Jurisdiction, I can hit my Hammer of Justice from further away, and I stun him on the pet revive. I bubble his trap to stop his re-stealth, and uh, we get on top of him. He has no pets, he has Aegis, no trap. No intimidation, and down he goes. All right, so for this last duel here, uh, he gets the opener, of course, in camo. So I'm just chilling, waiting for the hunter to come out. And uh, I don't have bubble or bop here. So here is a good example of how Rhett can survive without these cooldowns at the moment. So still waiting for him to come out. He opens with an aspect of the wild, slows me. Drops his flayed shot and beast of wrath. So I'm going to sit here and play completely defensive. I want to bait a kick so I can press my flesh craft, but he's not falling for it. He's not kicking, so I have to eye for an eye and just spam heal off the pets. His beast of wrath fades along with his aspect of wild, so I'm free to run at him and do damage if I can catch him. I'm going to slow him right here, and he stuns me on the slow. I trinket the stun, and I'm trying to approach him. And get some uh, some uptime, but man, it is tough. I'm gonna have to BM shield here, and I have no freedom for the root, and I have no bubble and or bop. So he does kick me on the flash shield there, which does let me flesh craft with my emblem up, which is really ideal. Gives me a larger shield, and I'm able to uh, build holy power off the pets while still running at him. I'm approaching hammer of justice range here, and I should stun him in a sec after recovering for a little bit. So as you guys can see, he just feigns off my uh, my slow, freedoms my slow, disengages my slow, 
Maybe a slight misplay on the sacrifice right there, but uh, I guess he wants to take as little damage as possible from my ranged abilities as well. So at this point, I've lived long enough for Bubble to be back off cooldown. I Wake of Ash stun one of his pets because apparently he has one undead pet. He feigns into an Aegis to mitigate some of the damage, and then he turtles because I have uptime on him right now, which is actually a fine turtle. I'm going to hit the pets in order to heal off them once again. He roots me. I have no outs for the root, unfortunately, so I'm just going to try and juke a kick and uh, cast some flash heals and word of glories while healing off the pets. I have a hammer of justice if I can get in range. I'm going to send it soon. I full stun him right here, and then we get a seraphim proc and divine purpose proc, and down he goes. No wings needed. All right. Good duels to Ryler, uh, Ryler Hunt. And uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video or enjoyed this type of gameplay, dual guide, commentary, and you know whatever from both perspectives, feel free to drop a like. Um, follow me on Twitch, Twitter. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more and what class you would like to see next. I would, you know, I enjoyed making this video. So if you guys want to see maybe warlocks, or mages, or or shadow priests, who knows? Whatever class you pick, I will do that class next. All right, peace.